Okay, the shift is just getting ready to start here on Science Construct 16, and of course I'm ready to go. <sighs> no telling what job we're going to get. I wasn't expecting Detective last time I recorded. It is one of my settings, but I wasn't expecting it. I'm still expecting AI or... What is my other one? I think I've actually got... Yeah, I won't, I won't spoil the other one on the way. But it's sure to happen at some point. <clears throat> so, what did we get here in the lottery? Anything? We got a regular medical doctor. Not one of my choices. But I guess it'll do. I don't know if I've actually done a medical doctor video before, so this will be a good chance. Medical doctor is extremely easy, and the fact that there are now medical assistants that um, have been hired onto the station, it is even easier than it was before, because now instead of having everybody just ignore you and burst their way into med bay, now you only have some burst their way into med bay, because the other ones already have access with their IDs. Um, but I'm dropping some supplies here that I don't need. I don't need that many bruise packs or ointments. I don't need the health scanner right there. Because my PDA acts as one. <clears throat> I do need an antitoxin bottle. And an inaprovaline bottle. And I'm just going to put those in my backpack for now. I will be using them here in a moment. I don't need... Spacicillin, that's for viruses and diseases. And I'll just leave those in there because viruses and diseases are not very common now, especially with pathology taken off the station. A benzocytosine pill, that is useful for flushing toxins out of people's bodies. It will almost kill them, but it will remove any toxins they have managed to have been filled with or whatever. Um, I'm going to take a Dexalin pill from this. This is the oxygen deprivation kit. Put it in there. Useful if somebody has been suffocating, which is one of the most common causes of death on the station. The other thing I want to get is a Kelotane pill. Actually, two of those. Burns are extremely common as well. And do I have room for an antitoxins pill? Yeah. And that should round off my emergency... Med kit here. I'll use this med kit throughout my shift, and it will enable me to heal people without having to run all the way back here to med bay. Because there's basically two things you can do as a medical doctor you can set here and just wait for people to show up, or you can go out there and heal them. Uh, another thing I'm going to grab is another syringe filled with inaprovaline. Inaprovaline is extremely useful for pulling people out of critical. I'm going to get another antitoxin and inaprovaline bottle up here. Primarily because I want to use it, use these bottles on my hypo spray. So take a bottle of inaprovaline, click on the hypo spray in your pocket or on the ground, wherever it is, and then pick up the antitoxin bottle, click it on the hypo spray, and you will make um, a little bit of tricord. And if you use the hypo spray, like pick it up in your hand and then click on the hypo spray it'll open up the hypo spray menu I don't want to be injecting five units that's a bit much I think I'm just gonna bump it down to two that'll give me ten injections and I'm gonna use that to top people off if their health is low well not too low because tricord will kill if somebody is real close to critical or if they have a bunch of burn damage do not give them tricord. It will it will kill them. Tricord heals brute damage by causing a little bit of burn damage, I believe, which can easily send them into critical if they've um, got decent burns. The monkey is going to die horribly, Mr. Horsehead says. Maybe he'll have some monkey burgers out here in a bit. I'll swing back through and get a bite to eat at some point. What I should grab is uh, 
Noam Chomsky right there. The captain left the bridge open. I could have just dove down through there. Who is the captain? Eric Rawl. <clears throat> Say if I was nefarious or had any ulterior motives that dealt with the bridge. So you want to lie and wait for an easy assassination on some of the heads. You can just get into the bridge there and wait for them to show up. Really? Somebody just... Is that a bunch of lasers or tasers? So they look like somebody got shot there for a second. I don't see anybody laying down and dying, so... I guess I'll just sit in medbay and wait for things to start falling apart. <clears throat> This early into the round, you're really only likely to stumble across suicides anyways. And you're just going to waste your time with them. So there we go. We'll play Chomsky. How about... We can go right here by the sleeper. And just kind of watch over our mad bay here. Hypo spray of tricord. Let's see. Murdoch Nicholas. Sure. I don't see why not. He's a security officer, so. <clears throat> oh, come on, dang it. I'm trying to grab this bottle here. There we go. Transfer. It's got 20 units in it. That should be enough. Just put it up there for him. Good luck out there. It's tough being security. They get picked on and farted on all the time, so... He's bound to need it at some point. A couple of distant explosions. Probably the mining crew. I'm hoping it's the mining crew and that the station isn't being blown to hell. Cool. The captain's giving out heavy armor, too. I get paranoid with doors open because people burst in and just murderize everybody. Okay, this guy was shocked. Martin Hanford. Ford. Ford. Hanford. Okay, one minute. Burns are extremely easy. First, we'll scan him and see how damaged he is. You can see right here it says he's got 43 burn damage. It lines up with the key right there. And burn damage is cured by giving them a Kelotane pill. If they've got more than 30, than 30 burn damage right there, uh, you should probably use a pill. If it's not more than that, you can use the ointment, but that worked, and he's back up to 100% health. Calotane is for whenever they're severely burned. If they're just lightly burned, and it will tell you whenever you examine them, you'll know which one to use. Obviously, you can use Calotane if they're lightly burned. You're just wasting your resources. <clears throat> which, depending on what type of doctor you are, may not matter to you. But this is the life of a doctor, pretty much. <clears throat> I don't really feel like going out there and running around in circles right now or up and down the station looking for wounded. So we're just going to sit here and listen to the ambient hum of the station. See if we can get a, a feeling for the flow of the crew right now. Apparently the AI is screwing around, not making the crew very happy. Or somebody impersonating the AI. Maybe a cloaker is in there screwing with things. Because the AI says they're not doing it. News flash. Threat made by Chief Botanist. What? Chief Botanist? Is there really a Chief Botanist now? A Grow Master, perhaps? Hmm. 
Wow, the captain doesn't have access to the heavy armor. I'm surprised. Must be a head of security thing only. Possibly to ensure that the energy guns and heavy armor are not broken out every single round by a, a Robocop captain. Or a Robocop head of personnel. Is this guy hurt? He's limping awfully bad. Beef man muscle. No, he's not injured at all. I'm just having a leisurely walk right there. No, I won't say what's the beef. That's too corny. What's up, beef? It says he needs somebody to take a look at him. It's possible he's a bit cold. Maybe he's freezing. Bit laggy. So, just pull up my PDA. I'll scan him. It's possible that maybe he's got some type of virus. Or maybe that he's going to try to murder me down here. He's... Is he just walking weird? Is he trying to hide down here? I'm not sure I trust him. Seemed fine to me. Not even sick. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, that makes a little bit more sense. I'll try to be nice. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes you'll actually help people, sometimes they'll murder you, sometimes this will happen. You never know. Now, that does change my plan a little bit. What I need to do... Come in. He needs a Kelotain pill, so... We'll give him access here, since he's another Revolution member. In case you don't know what happened there, that means I just was brought into the Revolution. And the red R means you're a regular revolution member. The blue R means that that's a revolutionary leader. <clears throat> and yeah, there is a little bit of lag. A lot of bit of lag. But what I want to get here, if possible, I could switch hands, is some of the sleep toxins, perhaps. Or just the toxin, let's see. This is going to be my weapon of choice, because in a revolution, it's real simple what your goal is. You need to find the heads of the station and kill them. Is my backpack full? No, but it's close. I don't need that box. I also don't need this in a provolene bottle. So we can drop that. I do want this sleep toxin bottle here because I can always splash that on somebody sure it's all revs back here there's another revolutionary leader Damien Garnies what is happening somebody has seriously screwed up I would almost want to blame the chemists for this. Hey, there's the dead head of security. Or, not head of security, but the the head surgeon. <clears throat> yeah, what is he doing? What's his name? Resto Garner. And he's back up. So I'm gonna close that door. This is the one of the one of our targets. We have to kill him here. It shouldn't be too hard. I'm not sure if he's brain dead or not. He doesn't seem to be fighting back. I'm going to pick up this wrench and use it as a weapon because it's the best thing I've got. <clears throat> 
It's possible the server might die. Security send back up to hydroponics. Sec has been bombed. The captain is dead. So this is going to be two down. The captain will be dead and this guy will be dead. <clears throat> Strangle him. Okay, what I need... Okay, he's unconscious. Good. Get up here. You know what? I'm going to take... I, well, I don't really want to splash the toxins on him, but I guess I might as well. Just to kill him even quicker. Or he's going to be strangled out there by Mike Hunt. That's two, then. <clears throat> HSN hap Captain confirmed dead. One out, Beef? Yeah, he does. <clears throat> we'll see if we can limp over there through the lag here. There we go. That means we have the RD, the head of security, and... Who's the last one? Keep the station running. I'll try to keep my eye on Beef here. I think he's going to go try to convert that guy. And if I see him backpedal here and get knocked out or something, we'll run down there and try to help him. Well, I won't say run, because with this lag, it's going to be a crawl. But this also gives us a good vantage point if any of the heads um, are being brought to genetics. We can at least see them go by and know that maybe somebody is trying to clone them. Can the captain be cloned? Yeah, somebody's asking right now. I'll see if I can get back there. Is there enough left? Jeff asks, I'm asking if there's enough bombed body parts left. Or if the poor guy was just turned into Gibbs. So, I'm going to guess Beef got his mark down there. There goes our other head. We'll see how bad the damage is down here. And I've really got to find a better weapon than a wrench. We have two more heads. There's Damien Garnies. There's Koriki Hayashi. I don't know where the other head went. Okay, that's actually quite a big hole down there. So we really have four rev heads? We're doing exceptionally well right now if, if we do have that many. See, was that also two medical rev heads? And then I end up getting flashed by an engineer? We got the quartermasters, they're kind of just hiding in their home there. They're not really anything to worry about. They're, the quartermasters is like a hive of wasps. As long as you don't mess with them, they'll generally just stay in their little cubby hole and order things for themselves all around. I'm trying not to yawn, guys. But I read that and it made me. Even reading the word yawn makes me want to yawn. Gotta have a head, a head somewhere around here. Straylock finally catches on to it and he yells, Rev! <clears throat> I'm going to assume that he is a head. He's probably the head of security is my guess. I think Beef Man Muscle is a rev head, Straylock says. Oh, I really hope that he hasn't found him and done something. Oh, where did my sleeping toxins go? And my med kit. I'm... Wait a second, did, did I really drop all that stuff? I think I did. 
Yeah, whenever I was killing the head surgeon, I didn't even think about it. I just dropped that stuff instinctively and started murdering. We got a miner there. Aiden Hall. There goes the chaplain. <clears throat> Uh, God, uh, let's see. There's Kiorki. He's not doing anything, though, is he? I wonder if he's even there. Oh, God, Straylock says. Is he finally being murdered? Medic to engineering. check back here real quick see if the head surgeon went if he was taken care of I'm gonna assume he is or he was Straylock and I are trapped in plasma somebody says Jaden butt yeah there's resto Garner there's the sleep toxin bottle I'll take that just close that and actually let's lock it there we go Okay, so the sleep toxin, that'll be useful. Obviously. Most of research and medical is probably revved, Straylock says. It's a good guess. Hmm. There's one of our heads, right there, Damien Garney's. If he's going to run back here, I'm going to follow him. Primarily because I think that... Yeah. I think that there are others back here. Rolling Tetris. Said they were trapped in toxins. Which will be on the other side of here. Beef says he needs to bomb Vamoose. <clears throat> Let's see. There's some people in the mixing room. It's Draylock. Let's see who it is. <clears throat> Which means I think it's a head in there. I still don't have any real weapons. I have sleep toxin, which could be useful. Let's see. Is there anything in this crate? Spare parts. We have a bunch of spare robot parts. Well, there's one down, and somebody snuck through here. That's Jaden Butt. Damn, he got through there. Take his ID. He stuck himself in there. Well, the lights go off, and they're blown. <clears throat> I just splashed him with something. There we go. We got his O2 tank. Where'd he go? Is he back in the corner? There's beef. Sorry it has to be this way. But I think that we've got to do it. And he's knocked unconscious there. He's yours, beef. I don't know if he's going to try to convert him if Straylock was even ahead or not. And there's Jaden Butt, there's Straylock. Nice. Converted both of them. It's better than I thought it would be. Yeah, we'll try to wake him up. And actually, I'll, I'll heal him up. How much damage did we do? Is that 40? Okay, we'll inject him with some Inaprovaline here. He doesn't have too much damage, but the Inaprovaline will heal him up a little bit. There we go, and top him off with some tricord there. How's he doing? 36. That should bring him back up slowly. <clears throat> Anyways. Hey, hey. Seventy-six. How high is he gonna go? 
The room is filling with CO2 just before I got revved. Well, that sucks. He started filling the room with CO2 just before he got revved. I don't have oxygen here, though. Okay, 86. I guess he needs maybe one more shot. There we go. Save as much of this stuff as possible here. He's at 88. What's beef at? 100. Damien. He's at 99. Jaden, did he get hurt? No. I guess everybody's fine. I'm at 85, actually. Got a little bit of brute damage. Okay, I am going to need an oxygen tank here. So I'll grab one there. We're pretty much trapped in here, unfortunately. I'm guessing I'm not going to have a breath mask, though, am I? I got no breath mask. CO2 is filling the room. Oh, I'm not sure that the AI is going to actually let me out, if that will work or not. Obviously, I have some air because I can talk over my headset. <clears throat> I have an unused stem pack. I have all the meds you could need. There we go. The bolts are raised. And the AI says it'll be keeping a close eye on us. Somebody open it. We're wasting time here. I don't think anybody's out there. There we go. We charge out and there's only an assistant, Dustin Howe, who is now on our cause. Got nothing in there, huh? Circular saw, lab coat, some cannabis, and a zippo. Nothing that I want in there. Let's see, chemistry is always useful, but I'm not going to do any chemistry. Cryptobilin, thermite. Really? Thermite pills? That seems pretty useful. Is there actually anything in it? Two thermite pills and that one. Two thermite. How, how do you even use thermite pills? Actually, you know what? I think I am going to break into here. I want those thermite pills. Here. That's what I want right there. As well as that beaker. Stimulants smoke. Okay, I will take a huff of this. So refreshing. I love this scent. Well... Can't say I've ever OD'd on stimulants like this before. There's no reason to stop breathing it in. Nom 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 nom. Mmm. <laughs> it's the best vaporizer you could ever have right there. Now, let's see. I actually don't need the O2 tank anymore. And we're out of here. What I'm going to do is, I think I can put these pills... Let me try this. Pill... Actually, hang on. I, I can do this. I can do this right. I think I take a pill out of this bottle. Do I? Oh wait, I am taking pills out. They're all going on the ground though. Put the pill in the beaker. And then throw it on that wall there. There we go. Now we're through there. I didn't really want to drop all of my thermite pills here, but that'll work. And that wall comes down and we're through. Of course, the door was already open, but... Oh, well. Let's see. I need to make my way, I think, to the bridge here. Or 
at least as close to it as I can. And there's no O2 here. I have got to find a breath mask before I suffocate. Not one in there. I could always go back to med bay, actually. Which is where I dropped my box at, and I'm sh pretty sure it's still there. Okay. Just open that door in case anybody wants to come in, and there we go, there's my breath mask. Of course, now I need to find an oxygen tank or something. Oh boy, it's always something. And there goes the detective, he's being dealt with. I don't really have time to fuck around in that intersection, though, due to the oxygen situation. Okay, we'll put the thermite right here, melt down that wall. That'll lead us to the teleporter, and I can actually teleport to the bridge that way. There goes the... Hey, is that the chief engineer? I think it was. Where did he go? Can't go through that door. He's not in here. Did he really run up through here? Well, I, I don't really know who's asking that. I was going to say that the chief engineer just ran somewhere, but I don't want them to know that we're actually hunting them down yet. Okay, let's see. The bridge, the AI satellite, teleporter room. I don't have the parts to finish building that, so... I'm just going to teleport to the bridge here. What is going on? I just heard somebody getting murdered. Oh, it's that guy getting killed by the cat. No ID there. Okay, well, I'm gonna use if I I'm gonna use this thermite. Where should I go? Right about I hope this is open right there. What do you mean that didn't work? Oh I just splashed all dang it, I splashed all my toxins on that wall. Well, that sucks. I wanted to splash the thermite here. My toxins are now worthless. Whatever. Say, with any luck, maybe I can find the captain's spacesuit in here. There's somebody. Tim Tomlinson. What's he doing? So I don't want to have to kill him, but I will. Put this jetpack on. Oh, get out of here. Thankfully, now you can't just randomly walk up and throw somebody. And have it actually work. You've got to, uh... Get a double grip on them. Like, I'm gonna try to do to this guy now. There we go. Throw him against that wall. And I'm gonna actually try to... Throw this guy out the window. Unless we can convert him. Aw, oh, dang it. I was wanting to throw him out to space break the windows with him, and then throw him all the way out there. Want this pack? See, I'm not sure if he's got a jet pack. No, dang it. would like to get through there and get the hand teleporter. But I don't know if I've got any more pills. Maybe I do. Take this pill here. Yeah, I do. So we'll put that one in there. And splash more thermite on this wall, melt our way into there. How many pills did I dump out? Good lord. I think I dumped out all of them. Yeah, I did. I didn't want to do that, but oh well. You know what? I, I'm going to drop the tricord, take the teleporter. Um, I'm going to drop the wrench, drop the toxins bottle, or the antitoxins, drop the anaprovaline bottle. I think the captain's already dead. I'm going to take another thermite pill, put that in there. Now I've got room for pretty much everything that I want there. And I will keep that. So, what I want to know now, do we have access to the brig? And is this guy dead? Jake Esteman. No, he's not. He's alive. I might be able to save him. Severely injured, slightly burned. Um, how bad is it? He's at negative 2% healthy. He's got suffocation damage, so he needs a Dexalin pill. 
We'll force it down his throat, and then we're going to check his health. He's got some burn damage, too. Dang it. Okay, drop the backpack. I need a Kelotane pill here. Make him eat that one. And... There we go. 13% healthy. Still got suffocation damage. Not as much brute damage. There we go. We'll wake him up. Oh. Looks like our heads, our head revolutionaries, are having a little bit of fun. Straylock has been taken back, though, to the good side. He just narked us out. Welcome back. Attention revs, please now kill all non-revs. The heads are hiding as one. Oh, they would. They would do something like that, wouldn't they? Okay, what I want to do here is first off let's melt our way through that wall there I'm quickly running out of pills unfortunately I think I'm down to two put thermite there rev head come to med bay please sounds like a trap to me okay those are still locked security cameras I'm really hoping I could find some weapons. Something that we could actually use here. A Segway is always dangerous. Man, that was a complete waste. Riot control is not open. Oh, I had my hopes up. Oh, wait, I can grab some stuff from this, can't I? Flash? Yes, and a flashbang. So, put the flashes in here. Put the flashbang. Actually, you know, I'll take two flashes. And a flashbang. That may be useful, too. I don't know who we're looking for at this point. But... Okay, let's make this jump. Awesome, the engineers fixed it. I didn't have to fly through space. I was somewhat worried... ...that I might freeze. That's been set. I know the chief engineer is somewhere. I don't think he has been killed yet. Help at kitchen, beef man muscle says. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's my head that I need to help protect. Get out my flash. We'll see if I can get in there and help. Oh, damn it. Is he actually in the kitchen being killed? Where is he at? Did they both get knocked down here? Where? Who is that? That's Dustin Howe right there. Oh. Give him. Put him in the blender there. Turn him into meat. Got Jaden, but he's fine. What do I got? An electrician's ID. I don't need that. I could use some insulated gloves, but we don't have them. Oh, wow. There was one of our head revs. I think he's AFK, though. Okay, where'd that guy go? There we go. He's down. And, let's get this guy ground up. He's not a rev, so we're going to kill him. Because, like they said, one of the real revs is actually, or one of the original heads is hiding. So anyone who's not a rev at this point is hamburger. All revs to the chapel, Red October says. Now, I don't know if he's telling the truth. Oh, he's in the confession room? Really? Where at? I'm trying to push this wall and open it up, because I believe it's a secret wall. Yeah, it is. There he is. He's got a, a welding mask on, dang it. Oh, I need to switch this to disarm real quick. Okay, he's down. Now we'll try to knock him out. There we go. He's down and unconscious, and we're going to just completely kill him. 
Because that's the chief engineer right there, someone we've been looking for for a while now. He had a good hiding spot. I tried to come through that chaplain's door earlier. Who is it? It's Sergei Berkatovsky. The chief engineer. Hey, don't push me onto him. I hate when people do that, honestly. I know they want items real bad, but... You don't push people onto a guy that's being pummeled with oxygen tanks unless you want everyone else to hit the person you knock onto him. So, he'll be dead. And somehow I picked up a razor blade. There we go. He was the last one, too. Good job, Revs, and nice try, crew. You almost managed to survive. How did our heads do? All of our heads were alive. Beef, Damien, and Kariki. I thought we had four of them, but there was only three. It could have been worse. I want to put a banging donk on it. 